Welcome again to our hub identification class. And today we are going to talk about uh, the golden bottle brush. This is an ornamental plant that grows in, uh, in that is grown in most home states, but I want to tell us its uses today. The golden bottle brush is known for tonsillitis. We have the white, the one with the white flowers, we have the one with the red flowers. And uh, as we can see here, we have this one that has the red flowers and the white flowers. Some have white flowers, but they are very small, as small needle-like leaves. So the golden uh, bottle brush has various uses that we need to know. Uh, the traditional benefits of bottle brush uh, is that the tea made from the leaves is effective for tonsillitis, used as a diuretic and for relieving problems of the urinary tract. So if we're using for tonsillitis, you have to make a strong decoction or concussion of the leaves and then uh, take it in about three times a day. And tonsillitis, you know that is as a result of the inflammation of, inflammation of these tonsils, which is because of the toxins that we take into our system. Sometimes our colon may be constipated and a lot of uh, toxins are being discharged back to the system. And we can also be having, taking a lot of milk. Those who take a lot of milk uh, have a tendency of developing tonsillitis. Or maybe uh, you have taken some food that is so uh, detrimental to your system. It will cause the tonsillitic effect. Uh, so used uh, it is used by women as a doche to cleanse the genitourinary tract from excessive menstruation or mucosal discharge as a leucorrhea as in leucorrhea now as a doche you will just boil the strong decoction of this this uh, you'll deboil the leaves and then uh, draw out the medicinal the, 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 the decoction or the tea and then on a slanting board or slanting position, you, up, you uh, insert it through the, uh, the bath canal. And then the person should be able to retain for as long as she can. If someone is having candida or itchiness within the bath, uh, bath canal, this is something to try. Or make a strong tea made of the leaves and then sit on it in a sit bath for about 20 to 30 minutes to help you with the, uh, with the UT, UTIs, STDs, like gonorrhea, syphilis, and uh, happy simplex, uh, all those happy zoster, uh, it helps you to, uh, to actually recover from, from those conditions. If you have hemorrhoids, you can use a, uh, uh, an enema, a squid enema, or a fleet enema into the, uh, into the rectum. And so it helps to tighten those uh, tissues around the rectum. Use for urinary incontinence and bed wetting in children. You just take a tea of the leaves and take it three times a day. Or those who are having bed wetting or the children having bed wetting, sometimes it is because of... Uh, weak kidneys or they are being spunk at the back most of the times and so the kidneys are hanging loose dangling in their position you need not to spunk a child on the back most of the times you will create a great problem for your for your child children need to be treated well you have to uh, punish them where necessary to tell them the reason why you are punishing them and not all mistakes are to be uh, punished by canes. You have to teach them the right order. If they fail from that right order, if you pray to the Lord, the Lord is able to teach you the right way to direct that child. So many children are bedwet because they, the urinary 
truck system has not been strengthened or they do not drink enough water or another problem is infection in the bladder so that the sphincter is not closing well or it may be a nervous problem. So what you need to do is to deal with it uh, as a nervous system as well as a, a physiological system. Uh, for bedwetting, taking corn silk tea, rosemary, corn silk and rosemary tea every day is very beneficial. And you need to give your child a lot of vitamin B complex supplements or foods that are rich in that. And then uh, train your child to make sure that they don't lie in a position that is making them to do bedwet. So they need to sleep in a good position at night. Uh, and then you take these teas to help uh, the problem. Make sure that the colon is cleansed well because if the, if, the, if the colon is not cleansed well, the rectum will be pushing to the bladder and then uh, sometimes we get the child is bedwetting. Uh, another thing in Jamaica, decoction uses a hot tea for treatment of gastroenteritis, diarrhea, and skin infection. It means we can even use it for, uh, for irritable bowel syndrome uh, because of the effects that it has upon, uh, upon, this, upon the respiratory system. Indigenous people of Australia use the bottle brush flowers as a natural energy drink. You can make a natural energy drink by creating a syrup out of it, putting some pinch of cinnamon and uh, the leaf tea. You add some, uh, you add some, uh, uh, you add some, uh, some honey, raw honey, and then you can drink it in. It's a good energy booster. So may God bless you for this presentation. Remember that your health is your wealth and you only obtain a good health if you follow the principles of health that God has given in the beginning. And if you follow the former series, the former presentation, we had the laws of health in, uh, that we mentioned. So God bless.